Okay. Thumbs up. We're good. All right. So um, this is uh, our weekly call. Um, there are a couple things that came up. Kevin put out an email yesterday about trying to create consistency across the metrics. And it's um, just in terms of the headings that are being used by the metrics. Um, Cause I think they're, as Kevin pointed out, I think they're quite similar. It's just, it would be nice if they were all consistently named. So um, I think it comes down, I went through all of the candidate metrics and I think it comes down to just a couple things. So the, I'll work up from the bottom. So in some of the metrics, like the ones you have Andy and value, the bottom category is called references, mm -hmm. like external literature. And in other cases, that's called resources. Yeah. And so it would, to me, and I think Kevin and Sean and <laughs> the other people that chimed in, it makes a lot of sense just to call that the same thing. Of course. Yeah. And so I was thinking about it today. I'm actually, um, I, I actually have a preference towards uh, resources. Okay. What, what do you think, Kevin? Do you have a preference? Kevin Lombard. Uh, it's been mentioned in some of these meetings that uh, chaos is maybe skewing a little, uh, a little too far to academia. So mm -hmm. maybe resources is a a less uh, triggered word. Okay. When I think resources covers literature and potential like websites, and I think it's just a more inclusive word. So. Are we all kind of okay on that one? So I'm gonna ask my partner in crime here, Sean. To take notes, I'm ready. To, well, and to, let's just issue some pull requests. Okay, so for which we're gonna start with, I have a tab for each of the ones. So can you just go into value? Uh -huh. Ke Kevin, your internet's really bad. Yeah, I've been complaining about that all day. I might just come down and join you. Yeah, why don't you just go, there's a spot right here. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right down. Okay. So we're just going to take a little bit of time here and issue some. So go into, Andy, you had a couple so go to focus areas. Mm -hmm. Go to labor investment. Mm -hmm. And then go to issue velocity. Is it issue velocity? I forget. So what it was? There's no in, open pull requests in value. No, there wouldn't be. Okay, all right. Okay. Scroll down once. Oh wait, go back. So we're looking, is it, Andy, what is it? Is it project velocity? Is that what it turned into? Issue well, velocity. I see the file name is issue velocity. But there's also project velocity. And I think that's the one that's currently the candidate metric. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is the one. So project velocity. Project velocity. So we should get rid of issue velocity probably, yeah. Yeah, probably so. So why don't you just, can you clean that up right now, Andy? Yes, I will, yes. And so scroll up a little bit or whatever down. So that just becomes resources. Okay. Okay. All right. So wait, before you, and then before you issue this pull request, there's another. Is Andy going to do the editor or am I? I'm going to have Sean do this pull request. Yes, that's okay. fine. Because then you can merge it. That sounds great. I'm, I'm ready to merge. Okay. And so then the other issue is... Um, so this becomes what? External references just becomes resources in all cases. Yep. So don't, don't, don't issue it quite yet. Okay. I think we can do a couple things in here. Okay. Um, the other is, you know how you have, not you, but how a lot of them have test cases? And then in parentheses, it says examples. I propose we get rid of the in parentheses. And just call it test cases? Just or call it test cases or, or call it examples, one of the two. I don't know that we need two words for. <laughs> well, there, so I think it became um, probably examples. Is, test cases was made at maybe some early tentativeness. So let's call it examples. I, I think so, because, yeah. I mean, and then scroll up one more. Um, let's see, sample implementation. So how is sample, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Keep going. So then we have at the very, very top, we have use cases, you know this? 
your door locked now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on in. So I'm just keeping Kevin, I'll keep Kevin posted here. You can use the one now, he, or the. Yeah. You sit here. Um, okay, so Kevin, so, so far what we've been proposing is, is that external references just becomes resources. Test cases, parentheses, examples becomes examples. We don't need, I'm not a huge fan of using two words if we can't say it right the first time, why do we need a parentheses to say it? And then the top one, number two, objectives. which is currently called use cases, becomes oh. objectives. Is that it? Uh, yeah, I think I that's think so. it. Those three, and so okay. issue that pull request. Well, so I'll do the commit. Do you want me to do that for that? Was just one metric. Should That's for one metric. We'll have to do it for all of the ones. So should I just do it for all the ones while we're sitting here and then issue one pull request? You could do that because it's not a. This isn't like a. Yeah. <laughs> enormous change. So Andy, he's gonna. Sean's gonna do it. He's gonna do it for all four of your metrics and then issue one pull request. Yes. Do you get that, Andy? You're muted. Sorry, I think. Cases. You're muted. Um, yeah, my comment is awesome. Okay, so he's currently doing that. Okay, so then basically we do the, I think we do the exact same thing for risk. We don't have to do it on the phone here, but we spend a little bit of time issuing one pull request that cleans up all the rest of it. So it yep. says resources, objectives, mm -hmm. uh, examples, and whatever that was. So resources, resources, objectives, and uh, Example. What's the difference between examples and sample implementations? Um, so the question yeah, sample sample filtering visualizations and sample implementation. So um, sample implementations would be a piece of software, I think. And I don't know, now this has we have sample implementation, okay, and known implementation. I think a sample implementation would be Here's some sample source that gets it done. That's how I read it. And then a known implementation is like, here it is. It's, it's actually done in Augur mm -hmm. or it's done in Baturgia. Mm -hmm. So the sample implementation is a way to kind of understand the SQL behind the scenes or a way to understand a piece of source code that would mm -hmm. kind of articulate how this is getting done. So what does, which one does examples connect to? So if we look, if we're looking at examples there is is this just like a lower part yeah, of knowing that, that augur, that augur yeah. has done this on rails and so i guess react that, js yeah, so kind of should you almost merge those together I mean, kind of because if we have known implementations here if it's augur and then it's grimoire lab and so on and so forth yep. uh, they become disconnected within the examples that's right? true so, if we, so what I, if we just merged it together we can have Augur and then underneath. The okay, so just keep, keeping people posted on the phone here. We have so what three I three people. What I don't know about that though is I, if, if it's used differently in different metrics. So the question right now is we have a sample uh, implement or known implementations and, and what was test cases examples, and are those different things? Like in the in the one that I'm looking at on value, it they're. One's examples is a bit more granular under known implementation. Maybe we should, we should take a look at how it's used. I think it's used differently. Yeah. Can we, can we, I suggest a workflow issue here. Can mm -hmm. we just issue, before we solve this problem, can we take care of the other headings? Okay. See what I'm saying? We'll like get those in as one pull request. Yep. Per, yep. Okay. And then Possibly even next you week can we could talk about. You can continue the discussion. I can just do these changes first. Okay. And then, so this has to happen on risk as well. So just so you know, there's going to be a pull request issued in the risk working group. Um, and then, so then the last one, and I'm going to bring this one up for people here. It's the, um, I'm going to share my screen. It's for evolution. Oops. And so evolution, I, I think there needs to be a few things. So let me share my screen here. Share. Are you seeing that okay? So yes. in their, okay, so in their focus areas, they have 
um, code development. Let's see, let me, let me go come at this a slightly different way. That was weird. What'd you do? I think you just actually made the edit instead of. Oh, did you just commit directly? I think I accidentally did that. I had a, I have a fork that I was started with. Andy, Sean just committed directly. <laughs> I, 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 in, the, in, the, in the course of showing stuff, I actually think I. So just so you know, the changes have already been made. There's no, we'll, we'll take this phone call as your approval of a merged pull request. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, that's awesome. However it gets done, I'm good with it. <laughs> All right, so if I, um, I'm looking at, this is evolution. So there's code changes. I'm just picking on the first metric here. So if you see, can you see this? It says description, and then it says specific description. I think this needs to be a subheading of description. So I think it just needs to be added. I think a pound sign needs to be added to this thing. Use cases would likewise be changed to objectives. They have removed filters and visualizations into two headings. Mm -hmm. I actually think these should be moved back into one okay. and subheadings should be provided for these are the proposed filters. These are proposed visualizations just because right now it's two headings. Mm -hmm. So this should go back to filters and visualizations as one heading. And then if they want to break it out, we could do subheadings in here. Right. Reference implementations. Um, would stay known implement is that ref is that the same name across all of them no. known implementation and then references would become resources do we have sample implementations yeah I think known is referred to as sample in some okay or is reference I think implementation is sample implementation I think this is sample and then yeah I think reference implementation is sample yes. so for evolution and I think this is consistent across all of them. We should issue a pull request that, can you kind of jot this down yeah. so I don't forget? I, um, in the notes, are you in the minutes? I, yes. Okay. The, the specific description will become a subheading of description. Use cases will become objectives. Filters and visualizations will become one heading. Reference implementation will be sample implementation. Yes. And then known implementation stays and external references becomes resources. Can you share? Yeah. Oops, not that. Uh, I don't know if I have to stop my share here. I just put it in the chat for you. Okay. I'm not in Zoom. So. Oh, oh, you're, yeah. Oh, <laughs> of course you're not. I have no internet connection. So. I've got a question. Yes, Matt. So, uh, is there a good rubric for um, these? Like, are we keeping any kind of um, reference for what these mean in, in like a greater detail? What what means? Uh, what the, What the headings mean? So, um, yeah, so there is, and I'll fix this too. That's a good point. So um, let's see, I can come back here again and I'll share my screen. Um, so, oops. I don't know if I can get this right. Um, so here in the metrics repo, can you see this, Matt? In the activities metrics, there is a template. So there. Okay. Um, could we have that in a place where like a new committer could look at it too? Where do you think that would be? I don't know. Maybe on the README, honestly, because um, it's just for metrics. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. And I'll fix this template before I do that, but just so it. Looks like this. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, anything else on the headings? So thanks for catching that, Kevin.
and just yeah I think this will be nice um, and then then ultimately there are actually two different templates that are out there and I'm, I am okay with that they're pretty much in line with one another generally speaking but I just think different metrics from different working groups kind of require different ways of articulating those Mm -hmm. um, and so I'm okay with that. And I think these two templates uh, capture those things. Um, the other thing is, Andy, while I got you on, I don't know if you noticed in the value call, there's two um, metrics that are proposed to be tabled out of value. Did you see that? You're muted. I, I did not see that. Okay, so right now the two that so the two that happened last or two weeks ago um, were labor investment. Yeah, the two with labor investment. And I think the two are living wage maybe? Was yeah. that the focus area? Those are the two remaining, yes. Yeah, they just weren't, at least on the talk on Friday, there wasn't a sense that they were worked out enough. I see. And so, I mean, if, if there's still time, of course, but that's the current... And, and it's, it's, there's no set number of, of metrics that need to come. So, I mean, it's possible that these could just hold till version 1.5 that we seem to be leaning to that would come out in FOSDEM, which would be in whenever that is, February or something like that in Europe. So uh, my reaction is personally, I, I really would like to include those metrics. Okay. Um, and uh, if it would be okay, maybe we could take another crack at it on Friday. Let me, let me read the notes and, yeah. and let me um, see if I can assemble some arguments and some clarity around it. Great. That would be uh, great. And, and the reason why is um, when we talk about value, uh, you know, the two main stakeholders, in my opinion, for these metrics are number one, the open source program office, and number two, the people who contribute to open source projects. And I would like there to be a value story for both constituents. Okay. Um, so I just, I think then fundamentally, if you take a look at them right now, um, things like the TBDs or what things might be, yes. they, they need to be concrete. Okay. That's it. So if it's okay um, to revisit that on Friday, you know, the, the last time we all got together and, and we had a discussion around um, uh, the labor investment metrics, it was awesome. I mean, we really made incredible progress. So hopefully we can do the same on Friday for the, for the living wage metrics. Okay, could I ask you to kind of bootstrap that conversation a little bit? Yes, okay. yes. I'll, I'll put some juice into it and I'll be ready to, yes. to have some, uh, proposals for people to consider on Friday. Awesome, thank you very much. Um, great, okay. Um, I see John is on, and hi Ildiko. I see Ildiko's on as well, but. Good morning. Hi. Um, John, did you wanna, was there anything else on, on metrics release that people had? Headings, value, I'm looking over my shoulder. Uh, I think if we standardize the headings, I think we're. I think that solves fine. a lot of problems. Uh, maybe the uh, if each detail page were to have a question at the top. Okay. Uh, Might be associated question. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's cross that bridge next week. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Um, Andy or Matt or Ildico, John, anything else on the metrics? John, you can, it came in, I don't know where you were on the conversation, but basically we're standardizing headings across the metrics. Okay, yeah, I came in a little late. I was okay. on another work meeting, sorry about for, that. For example, some headings for certain people are called references. In other cases, it's called resources. Same thing, just, hmm. we just, we just went with the term resources in this case. Okay. You know what I mean? So yep. we, there's yep. just some consistency in the language that we were clean, cleaning up. So, yeah. so for evolution, there was a, uh, they also had, they had top level headings for both filters and visualization. Yes. And we suggested so put them under one and then give them subheadings. Correct. Okay. Correct. So I'm going to do a pull request for the first one to make sure. So that filters, we'll... filters and visualizations are the same thing too. Um, so in, in the template, in the template that we use to describe the metrics, filters and visualizations is a heading. And okay. so 
we're going to stick with that. And if people have certain filters that can be applied on the metric, then we'll just do a subheading in there. Ah, visualization okay. can also have a subheading. And so in some cases, that was the structure. And in other cases, filters and visualizations were both given top level headings. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're down to this kind of structure thing, but I think yeah, this important. Yeah. So I, I, I have not dug through looking at the template or anything. So yeah, well, we, I think based on the conversation last couple of days, we've been spending some time digging through the templates. None of, just so you all know, we're not asking for any changes in any of the content at all. So any, any of the work on the metrics themselves have, I think that's been pretty well discussed or looked at. It's really just presentation of that stuff. So, um, let's see, John, did you, did you want to talk, this week or maybe wait till next week about the social media document and the constituent documents that you put together? Yeah, let me do that next week. I didn't prep for it this week. Okay. So, Can I? Sure. No, I'll forewarn you then. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, uh, my brain is not there right now. Um, no, totally no sweat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can, I can do that for next Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll kind of put you down the agenda, even though we don't really have agendas, but just for kind of just opening up the discussions about. Those. Yeah, no, that's 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 good. I think my plan too later this week and over the weekend was to start creating the tactical social media document just based on the feedback okay. we've gotten so far anyway. So okay. next week will be a good a good check-in point for that. Okay, um, and just so other people know too as well, there's kind of an open call. So right now the John, I'll preempt just a little bit that we have the chaos project or proj uh, Twitter handle okay. and that we would start using um, the hashtagging for mm -hmm. hashtags for the different working groups. Yeah. And if people have an expressed interest in wanting to, to tweet under that account, tweet under that account, you need to express that interest. So, so yeah, I mean, I, I social media, so okay. like, I'd be, I would be interested in tweeting. Yeah, things happen. So I think who's that over there hiding off Sean. camera? Sean. I'm seek I'm Sean. Oh, hey, Sean. We, don't have, we don't have a wide speaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so cool. this, right. this I, I'm using all my USB ports or I'd plug in my camera <laughs> uh, okay, cool. Yeah, so, so I think, yeah, I obviously need to write up kind of a process in that tactical document too about like how if people want to do a tweet, how do they do it? Yeah. Okay, well, um, we'll kind of look for that. I know you shared it with the list prior, but maybe just ping the list again ahead of next Tuesday's meeting. Okay, cool. That was a that was a good way to do that. I was with much fear and trepidation. I fired my first uh, thing at the nailing list. I was like, <laughs> I don't know about that. Totally worked just fine. I think you got. I think you had about three or four people commenting on the document and giving some good feedback. <laughs> yeah, it was great. All right, cool. Um, thank you on that. Um, and then also just so people know too, here on the list, uh, John's put together a constituent document, which is really trying to think about who the consumers of the metrics would be. Mm -hmm. Tell me if I'm wrong, John, um, who those consumers of the metrics would be and, and what our work means kind of leaving the world of chaos. Yeah, I, I, I'm kind of looking at it from the lens of, uh, you know, I mean, I do like hiring and firing and budgets and like, why do I care about these metrics? Um, you know, we've all, I, I know a lot of you have had those projects and, and I certainly have where it's like, I track 400 different metrics and at the end of the day, only three of them matter. <coughs> so I'm trying to figure out, you know, what are, what are those three kind of aligned with each of the working groups and what questions should I be asked as a business person? Like what questions should I ask of these metrics to help me and my teams make better decisions about actions we should take, right? And, and I mean, that's what drew me to the project in the first place. You're like, oh, there's so much good stuff here. It can help me make better decisions. And, you know, just trying to frame, uh, frame the metrics and what we can get out of them in that, in that sense. And, you know, hopefully it's useful to people that might implement it. I think there's a lot of reception on this kind of thinking just because there is, I don't want to call it noise, but so many different things you can take a look at. And I think that's what the work has been is trying to distill that down as to what those and your what you're talking about those three yeah it's it's hard i was so overjoyed a couple of years ago when i figured out how many different things i could get out of some of the automation tools i was using and then it turned out that 
you know, Monday. Well, yeah, then it's like, it's the, it's the classic, <laughs> it's drinking from the fire hose, right? Yeah, yeah, and months of work was just like, well, I didn't get a whole lot of, I've got it all. Some, somebody found it useful, but it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, well, that's great. All right, so, and if, and if you want to split those discussions over a couple of weeks, that's totally fine as well. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll work on that this weekend, too, and see okay. how, right on. That, how that should break out, I think. Right on. And someone... Can someone drop the links to those two documents into the notes for today? John, when I say the two documents, I'm talking about the social uh, document. Yeah, can you link me the, the minutes and I'll put them in there? Yep. I, I, I wasn't on early enough to catch that link for the chat I will, today. I will do that. Hold on. Thank just you. Yep. The exchange of links to provide links. Google document must disappear. Wow. There. How about that? Perfect. Thank you. Yep, thanks. Um, any other items for today? I think my, my big thing was on the headings. I have a couple. Go ahead, Andy. Uh, first of all, what is the URL to the value implementation of Augur? I know there's one out there, but I forgot that URL. Um, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> um, I don't want to tell you wrong, so. So while he's looking that up, did you have another question? Andy? Oh, yes, I have another question. Um, well, the other question is also a Sean question, so I'll jump to my third question, which is... Um, Hold on, Andy, I think Sean has it. It's value.augerlabs.io. Okay, well, thank well. you. Uh, okay, so my second question for Sean is, um, is there a Docker container? And if not, would you like a volunteer to do that packaging for you? So where, where Augur's at right now is we have a lot of work done in development that isn't yet merged to master because we fundamentally reorganized the project. Okay. You know, with the common schema and bringing a lot of things that were being brought in from outside tools into our schema natively and serving them up through one RESTful API, we, we um, we change the architecture a lot, and it's um, it's we have a lot more data now, and it's all in one schema. So, um, I think we're, I, I would say we're about two weeks out from being in a place where adding a Docker container would be the right time for that. Okay. Um, however, um, there is a Docker container of the current version of Master, which is what is deployed. Um, under value.augerlabs.io right now. Okay. So we, we have a Docker container for the current master branch. And there will be a new Docker container in the next couple of weeks. Okay, so um, I'll wait on that. Was your question, Andy, your question was a particular container for value? Well, uh, for, I, I would say for, um, for Augur generally. Yeah. Okay. And um, so presumably it would be configurable mm -hmm. such that you could tell which repos and, you know, which, which things to track. Okay. Um, okay. It, yeah. seems, it seems like. Got it. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. So um, my, third, my third question is I'd like to start getting visibility into the results of Vinod's survey uh, to start thinking about you know, the presentation in San Diego, what's the best way to plug into that? Uh, should, should we talk about it on Friday? Should I get in touch with Vinod? What's your recommendation, Matt? Yeah, maybe we could. So basically, we've honestly been spending a lot of time just getting the survey in order. Okay. Taking a lot of work. And there was a recent survey from the to-do group. Did you see this one? I did. I did see that going around. Yes. So we did some mapping on that just to make sure we weren't kind of crossing paths. And I think we're pretty, pretty good in that regard. I think our, our big question right now is the distribution of the survey and how we go about doing that because um, this is really a, a research project. This isn't coming from chaos. Yes. And so we need to be extremely attentive to, um, to that. So I think maybe we could talk about that offline. Okay, that's, that's real fine. Uh, okay. 
would the would the, it be a better venue to schedule a separate call, or should we just do it on Friday? What What do you think would be probably better? a separate call? Because I this like I said, this isn't a. I don't see this as a chaos. I think if we were going to really do this as a chaos initiative, then we have to be a bit more formal with it and probably ask the board. I see. Uh, we can distribute it as a chaos project, and this is directly related to the research that Vinod is doing. Gotcha. And okay. I'd kind of like to keep it in that space. That's fine. Um, is Vinod around uh, this week? He's on right now. So. Yeah, I'm available. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't see you there. Okay, Vinod. I'm a little late. Okay. So, Vinod, um, uh, maybe if it's okay with, with you and Matt, I'll, I'll send an email with a, a, a couple of uh, suggested meetup times, and we can just chat through it for a half hour or so. Sounds good. Yeah, fine to me. Okay. That's the end of my questions. Okay, thanks. Anybody else? All right, John had to drop off. All right, cool. Um, if that's it, then let's call it a day. Um, pull requests, I guess they're probably close to getting done. Um, I did one for it, for evolution with one okay. metric because that's what I released just to make sure they're cool with it. Okay. And then I'm doing the risk ones right now. Okay, okay. Um, two out of six. Okay. Finished. Sounds good. All right. Thanks, everybody. Later. <laughs>